Hello and welcome back to part 3 of the Lightworks Dialog Editing tutorial. By now you should have edits 1 through 3 in good shape. Now we're going to add some additional media elements to our edits. We've got a few more assets to import. We've got some graphics, some music, some sound effects and an atmosphere track. Back to your toolbox, press the import button second from the top. Browse back to the folder where you unpacked your downloaded zip file and open the demo project assets folder. Now I want all of these to be imported. I'm going to press the button at the top here. I'm simply going to select everything. I'm going to import them by linking to them directly. Press import. And there's our additional assets imported. Leaving them selected, let's make a new bin. Press the plus icon in the bins list on the content manager and immediately rename. I'm going to call it extra media. Now the room atmosphere of just chatting in the background is going to go across the final assembly when we make a master edit of section edit 1, edit 2 and edit 3. The title is going to go in edit 1, the mobile phone ringtone sound effect is for edit 3 and the music is going to go in edit 1. If you look in the script you'll see some notes where these media cues are. Double click the title media and open it to a viewer. In the viewer this title looks a bit strange but it actually has alpha channel information for transparency embedded in it. What we're going to do is place it above our candle shot on a new video track. To make a new track, right click on the timeline, choose add tracks, or use the backspace shortcut key. If you want to find out more about Lightworks shortcuts, check out the shortcut tutorial videos on the website. For now, we're going to make a new video track, just one. Press add. Now, if I step backwards, Previous edit, I'm going to mark and park exactly the range of my cutaway. Mark an endpoint. Step forward. Now send this media into the timeline using the replace button. Now replace is an overwrite. It overwrites all material that are present underneath it. And what's going to happen, it's going to take this mark here and map it to this endpoint here and the system will calculate the exact length of media required. All we need to do now is tell Lightworks that we only want to put it onto the track V1. So I'm going to turn off all other tracks by pressing the All button and then clicking on V1 to make sure that's lit. If you just want to solo a single track, there's a neat trick with a technique called chord clicking with the mouse. Let's just put all tracks back on again. To solo any track in Lightworks, right click on the track header and hold down the mouse button. Then tap once with the left. This is called chord clicking. Right click and hold, tap once with the left and the track is soloed. So everything's ready for the edit. We just need to use the replace button to overwrite that marked range. And that's done. All tracks back on. Now we still haven't cut through this alpha channel area here we're going to do that by applying a blend effect. Let's open the Lightworks effects panel. On the bottom right hand side of your timeline press the effects button. The effects panel opens. Go to the category and go down to mixes. The first one you find in the list is the blend effect. Click, hold, drag and drop that directly to the title. When you release the alpha channel is cut and we can see the underlying shot on V2. That's dealt with. Clear the marks. OK, the next effect I'm going to go into is the mobile phone ringtone effects. We're going to put that in Edit 3. Let's close up Edit 1 for the moment. Just hit the X on the viewer. Go to your Content Manager, Filters, Edit Section, and double click Edit 3. Edit 3 opens up. So if we look back at the script, our cue for the mobile phone effect is when Sophie says, but not this time. She receives an SMS. Not this time. <laughs> and it bleeps there, she turns and picks it up. Let's make a new audio track to receive the ringtone effect. Right click on the timeline. Add tracks. Track type audio. It's a mono file, just one. Press add. Now track A3 has been placed at the bottom of your edit. 
So I want her just to turn round so the ringtone is going to go about here. Now I want to actually see the waveform of this sound effect so I'm going to use my show timeline button on the viewer here. And that's a neat function because it means that we can actually see the waveform of source material before we add it to the timeline. I'm going to zoom in a bit on that. I'm just going to mark it by eye. We're going to come in there, mark an in point, press play, and stop. So that's the correct section marked. My timeline marker is in the right place. I just need to tell Lightworks to only overwrite into A3 at this position. Again, turn off all tracks or use your chord click technique. Turn on A3. And we're going to send that mark section in with replace. All tracks back on. Let's quickly review how that sounds with the timing. Not this, not this time. <laughs> Now that's not too bad, but I'd like to make it a little bit earlier. I'm going to zoom in on this section here, and I want to move it to about here, just as she finishes speaking, which is this area here. And we can use drag and drop in Lightworks. Click in the center of the ringtone effect, left click, hold, and drag to the left. It'll pick that up, and then when I release, that will replace that in the right point. Let's see how that looks. Not this time. <laughs> yep, that's okay. Now it's a little bit loud, so I'm going to turn it down. To do that, I'm going to go to the advanced panel on my timeline. In the advanced panel, we can see levels of keyframed audio nodes, but also we've got another field called clip gain. And this sets the level of a clip. So we're going to park our position indicator on the clip we want to turn down. I'm going to use my clip gain field and I can either enter a value or just use my mouse wheel to roll it downwards. Now I want that quite low in the background so about minus 19 should do that. Time. <laughs> That's fine. So for now your objectives are to get the extra assets into the edits and then we'll add the title music and background atmosphere track in part 4 when we assemble edits 1 through 3 into a master scene. Good luck and thanks for watching.